Hello there. Welcome. To the game. We're gonna be playing more Blood Saint Ritual tonight. Yeah, I figured you might like to see that again. Hmm. Hmm. I quite like this game, you see. Reminds me of Ari, Ari of Sorrow, you see. Which was a pretty good game for the Game Boy fans. It's on the Wii U if you want that. Mm, not that I recommend getting a Wii U. Though you might if you want um, RUF Sorrow. You can also get a bunch of GBA games on it. But not all of them. That way. Alright, let's get into it soon. Just gotta wait for the load, man. Five oh five art play freaking way forward man. They made Chante, you see. And Way Forward is like um they've been around for a long, long time, you see. Remember what they made um Chante for the Game Boy Color, you see. And also Wendy Every Which Way. Which was the Wendy game, which had Thor would, which um, had something new with Casper, I guess. I really don't know. I remember Casper the Ghost and Wendy were really popular in the 90s. Because they made a bunch of movies with them. Well, they made a bunch of Casper movies. I'm not really sure why they brought back Casper for the 90s. It's sort of like um, soulless cash grabs to, in this day and age. Mm. Like the new RoboCop movie and the new um, Terminator movie. Mm. All right, let's go. I really, really like this. Um, I really, really like this Heaven Sword. Or, I mean, Oracle Blade. Yeah, it's an Oracle Blade. Why would you call it the Heaven Sword? Anyway, what we need to do is get over to... Wait, I don't have Reflector Ray equipped. And I should probably equip that. Where is it? I like puppy. Puppy's a good enemy. I open I open Blood Saint too. They put in more Kickstarter stuff. Cause man, that was a those are fun times. I know that they had some enemies on Curse of the Moon that they didn't use for this game, like the hammer throwing knights. Ah, here we are, the cathedral. Let's go there. That's actually where we need to go. And the reason we need to go here is so we can get to get to Bloodless. You know, the Elizabeth Bathory vampire. You know, this game still has vampires, even though it's not Castlevania. I mean, this game is clearly not Castlevania. Why, why would you think it's Castlevania? A little dagger expertise. Not that I use daggers, of course. Wait, what? what's going on? Yeah, that, yeah, that was a frame drop. I mean, I believe we have to go the other way. Give me those fangs. Hear that? And I really, really like the Oracle Blade. I also like the Heaven Sword in Symphony of the Night. It was a pretty good weapon. Of course, nothing like the Chrissy Grimm, though. The Chrissy Grimm was just crazy and ridiculous, man. It was OP as frick, man. Get that ammo capacity up. Ooh, what's this? 
appears to be some sort of sword that I didn't have before. Bouncing around at the speed of sound. Yeah, are we sure this, the, the light beam does that, that the reflector ray, does that turn Miriam into Sonic? Actually, no, it does not. There we go, that's how you use it. Watch out for the monkeys. They're engaged in monkey business. But you might not want to be engaged in. And after all, we don't want no monkey business, man. Damn, I messed up. Damn. There we go. That's how you do it. Sorry, it's a little tricky to master. Don't do that slide. That's making me nervous. Oh, the Spear Knights, they drop... They drop some spears. Yeah, you might, you might be interested in that. Ooh, what's up here? Cool MP max up. Is that a Silver Knight chart? Oh, and HP up too? Sweet. I'm kind of wondering what else is up here. Oh yeah, there's stuff inside the bells. See? There's stuff inside the bells. There we go. That's how you get that. Ammo capacity up. Freaking Welsh Banshee lady's up there. You don't want to mess with her. She's pretty dangerous. But this is kind of the point where you'd want to get her. Since you're quite leveled up now. And should be able to beat her now. Oh yeah, that... The Occupet drops the Optimizer Shard, which you're probably gonna want. Definitely. Heck, go for it, man. Optimizer is a super sweet chart, I must say. Oh, frick me. There's all these freaking Medusa heads. Frick. Nope, we don't want to get Medusa head. Cool HP max up. Freaking, freaking hell, man. Get out of my way, man. Fucking, Med fucking Medusa head wannabes for freaking. Fuck you too, man. Fuck. Don't mess with me, man. Did I mention that Medusa heads are not my, are my favorite enemy? I mean, they're so good. Why would you not like them? Ooh, kick expertise. Yeah, that's what that drops. Oh, frick me. There's, there's gold Medusa heads, man. Those are the ones that turn you to stone, man. You're gonna be on my case too. Get off my case, man. Oh frick, I'm turned to stone. Yeah, that's what they do. Well, I got some resist petrify, I guess. Stop shooting arrows into my face, man. Man, I'm starting to get annoyed. Sorry, Medusa heads trigger me, man. They trigger very powerful emotions of, um, rage, man. Sorry to say.
Come on, get over here. They want that light elemental. And stop running around everywhere. Let me hit you. Oh cool, I got some light resistance. That's actually what I wanted. Let's see, where is the resist light? I just need one more shard of it. Come on, stop. Oh frick, I'm turned to stone. Of course I get turned to stone, man. That's what freaking that's what freaking Medusa heads do, man. Freaking annoy you to freaking annoy you to death. Yeah, when you get turned to stone, the fun thing happens that you get the fun that happens is that you take even more damage. That's why Medusa heads are quite fun. Yeah, I'm not joking, by the way. That's not what I wanted to do. Freaking Medusa heads are everywhere, man. Man, they're, tr they're triggering me. I don't want them. And two sides are a very powerful trigger for me, you see. They're always going to be that for me, man. I, of course, am joking. I'm not actually... I'm not actually serious, I hope. Freaking Welsh Banshee Lady. Ooh, cake recipe. Cool. That means we can make some cakes. We already know how to do that. This is the place you want to grind that banshee lady. That is if you're interested in that, for whatever reason. Cool feather. You actually need that for optimizer, man. Get on my face. There we go, we cracked the floor open. And cracking the floor open lets you go down here. And why would you want to go down there? Well, I guess... I guess if you like going in circles, I guess. I guess if you want to fall down and go, go nuts, I guess. It's just for map completion, that's all I want out of that. Alright, let's fight Bloodless for real this time. And not fall down to the bottom. Get wrecked, kitty. Yeah, the cat is so cute though. I can see why people like that cat. That cat is pretty cute. Of course, what's not cute is that it shoots a bunch of fireballs at you. It shoots a filler of fire at you, but it's pretty cute. But it's one mad little kitty, man. It'll mess you- it'll freak you up, man. It'll freaking freak you up, man. Because I don't got no time for you, man. You would think you would be a really cute little kitty, but no. 
Mr. Evil. Cool, there you go. And that's the only enemy that drops apples, by the way. Come back here, you light elemental. Well, you've already maxed out my resist light, right? See, so resist light. Yep, it's max. Thankfully. Ooh, I got the Welsh Banshee Lady Shard, and I got some Witch's Tears. Yeah, but I don't need any of that. I've already maxed out her shard. It's kind of crazy that you need the Witch's Tears off of her to be able to do it, though. Yeah, not kidding, by the way. Freaking Shield Outsider, man. I got that Lair G. Man, I remember when Lair G was like a hunter in a um, freaking Portrait of Froon. That's the kind of game I played in Castlevania. Yeah, you know, Portrait of Froon's pretty good on the DS. I recommend you get that game, guys. Hmm. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Damn, we can't get up there. Or can we? Nope, you're gonna need inverse to be able to do that, or high jump to be able to do that. I assume this way leads to a bo Yep, that leads to Bloodless. That's a boss door. Are you ready for the fun with fighting Bloodless? I know she's a cool boss. I need more blood. Plus, it helps that Bloodless is super sexy. I know some of you might be into vampires. I am personally not. Nah, vampires are not sexy, man. Ooh, let's get out the OP stuff for her. Yeah, Chisel Barrage, man. Alright, what else do we need? about my move. I guess we'll take Regenerate. Well, let's take Optimizer. So I can get that sweet attack speed going. Ready to fight her? She's right behind here. I need more blood. She wants Miriam's blood. Why that looker, huh? Yeah, she bathes three days, three times a day in blood to be remain that beautiful, dude. Ouch. She's healing herself. But if we can pile on the damage, if we can pile on enough damage, we can beat her. That gives us blood steel. And I can't believe we beat her so easily. Normally, lots of people have trouble with her, but nah. Since we're doing new game plus, she's easy as frick. An umbrella. Of course, there's a reason we need to get Miss. We need to get her. That, of course, is explained in one of the ending. Of course, it's for the true ending, man. It's not this way. This way leads to everybody's favorite stage, the library. It's my least favorite stage in this game, man. Yeah, the library part two. Oh, Tamako Death! 
Yeah, she's apparently named after some sort of Japanese musician. Not that I would know that. In all honesty. Frickin' Zamako, dead man. Ooh, spear expertise. Gotta read on those. Here's our spear expertise. We're already at grade 9 for that. Who X outsider? They drop. They have a pretty good shard too. Freaking Titania also has a pretty good shard. I believe it's augment mines, yeah. Which helps you get more magic defense. First, let's save the library for later and do stuff that's gonna relate to the true ending of the game. I know Bloodless was super duper sexy, man. Yeah, sexy unless you're. Yeah, she wanted to steal Miriam's blood for her for eternal beauty, man. Now, Elizabeth Bathory is also responsible for a lot of vampire lore, man. Yeah, but Elizabeth Bathory is not sexy because she's crazy and because she was crazy as frickin' also a serial killer. Yeah, serial killers are not sexy, man. Now, you learn from Shadow Man that serial killers are not sexy, man. Damn, I didn't get the chance to use my chisel barrage on freaking on freaking bloodless, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Cause we beat her. This is fun. Alright, I guess I still have my accelerator on from when I was grinding. I was grinding Kunin Kuni for Resist Curse. We got the Optimizer Shard, but I've already maxed that out, so I don't need it. You know, we haven't run into a Warp Point, so you should run into a Warp Point. And then we'll focus on what we're doing. Get the Warp Point and then come back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm totally know what I'm doing, guys. I I played this game before. I know what I'm doing. Occupet, though, is definitely a shard you want. And you definitely want to max that one out. Well, thank you for your partisan, Mr. Spear Knight, dude. Mr. Rag, not that we need that. Man, Bloodless was pretty cool in um, freaking Curse of the Moon, too. Or, I mean, she was cool in Curse of the Moon 1, not Curse of the Moon 2. It's just that she also showed up in Curse of the Moon 1. So she was good in that game as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. Precisely, yeah. Alright, we're going through hell. Are you ready for the fun, guys? Ooh, rip. Ooh, she gave Augment Mind. Cool. The Axe Outsider also has a good shard. You'll probably want his too. He lets you throw the axe too. Which is a classic skill. Except you throw it in a straight line. Oh boy. I must say I love this stage already. And I'm starting to get really triggered, man. Cause there's freaking Medusa. Cause there's a freaking Medusa head infestation around here. Cause of course there is freaking Medusa heads. Damn, that's quite a mouth, Mister Miss Tamako Death. And Tamako Death is a cool enemy. Ooh, there's chair mimics around here. I see them. There it is. And Chair Mimic struck the Chair Mimic Shard, which is one of the most OP shards in the game. Yeah, you'll probably want a few of those ch Chair sh Mimic Shards. And the library is one of the places that it's easy to get them, man. It's definitely worth getting, man. 
Also, this library is having some fun frames right now. Basically, they want you to pick up a bookcase and take it over there. But what's the shard for picking up heavy stuff again? I actually forgot about that. That's gonna let us get up here. There's a silver night shard. I want more of those. The only way to max out silver night is to do new game plus anyway. I don't think there's nine of his shards in the game. Unless I'm missing some secret areas, which it very well could be. First, the reason why this place is hell is because. We have both Medusa heads and frickin' spikes. I guess spikes do percent base damage, so we need to be careful. And of course we got Medusa heads too. Everybody's favorite enemies. Oh yes, they're so good. I can't believe Medusa is are not more popular among Castlevania fans, man. I mean, what's not to love? They're so good. They're quite easily one of the most beloved enemies, you know. Oh yeah, I believe the whole of Termination is that way. Eve Celeste is required. Oh, right. It's actually the other door. Which is where we're gonna fight a big dragon. Are you guys ready to fight a big dragon? Actually, I'm quite not ready for that. The Thunder Elemental, so if you want Thunder Resist, go for it there. Oh yeah, the secret wall is in the other room. The other room with the percent base damage spikes. Here we get the Diabolus cap. Have I mentioned that? Have I mentioned how much I love Medusa heads? They're one of my favorite enemies, man. I mean, they're so good. That's a mimic. Yeah, I'm not falling for that, dude. No way I'm falling for that, man. Oh boy, gold Medusa heads. Or, I'm sorry, they're maledictions, not Medusa heads. Yeah, but they're basically Medusa heads. They're just like Medusa heads, only they're, they're just as good, man. Let's look around for more stuff to do. Boy. Oh, this doesn't look so bad. Aside from the Thunder Elemental up there. Boy, how's this hair how's this room gonna screw me over? Oh boy.
That's a big pile of yikes. I don't wanna to touch those don't wanna to touch the traps, man. I know, I know, I know some of you think traps are sexy, but no. Traps are not sexy in these kind of games, though. We can make gold equipment. And we got a Traverser's Ring. Sweet. Traverser's Rings are pretty good because they give you more... They give you more status when you, um... Like when you, um... Plate more map, yeah? Oh frick. And I'm I'm just waiting for this area to screw me over, man. Oh hell no. Nope. I am noping out of here. I don't get paid enough to deal with this nonsense. Nope, I don't get paid enough to deal with that. I should go to the entrance. It's actually where we need to go anyway. In order to do the blood fountain. We dropped this other spiral sword. That's like a rare 2% drop, too. And, well, I get like three spiral swords in this playthrough. And remember, and the first time I played it, I didn't have all this luck stuff. It wasn't level 99. And I got a spiral sword in like the second, and second freaking Bloodbanger night. Can you believe that nonsense? Yeah, man. Anyway, save complete. Anyway, that's where we're stopping for today. I know the library is very fun. It's my favorite stage in the whole game. Hmm. I mean, it's so great. I mean, you got gold Medusa heads, and you got spikes, and you got moving platforms and buzz saws. I mean, what's not to love? I give it a five out of five. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm totally not sarcastic and not joking whatsoever, man. <laughs> yeah, I would never ever stoop to such tactics, man. <laughs> it's the absolute best, man. It's also the place where you can die pretty easily, man. And that makes it even better. Anyway, enough about that. I guess I'll just quit for right now. Boy. Goodbye.